Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Chuck. And this is Allie Chuck Adventures. And we're going to take a quick look back at 2019 and all the places... That we went to. Yep. All the places we RV traveled to. Hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> All right, so our first uh, trip of the new year was stopping at Savannah, Georgia and staying at Skidaway Island State Park on our way back from our Christmas trip. Yep, we actually had a really good time there. Um, one of our friends joined us for the trip and we did a lot of fun things. Yeah, we showed her uh, some things. She'd been there before, but we showed her a few things that she had never seen, like the Bonaventure Cemetery and Gracie Watson's grave. Yeah, as well and, as Johnny Mercer's grave too. Right, and Allie actually did some research and found out how the lyrics uh, to Moon River were coined by Johnny Mercer and how they ended up naming that river, Moon River, there in uh, in near Skidaway Island State Park is where the river was. And we also saw a uh, botanical garden, so that was new for us. Yeah, that was something new. Had so, a beautiful rose garden there. Yep, and they had roses named after uh, famous people like Dolly Parton, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. We kept, sing we kept singing Moon River the whole time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> trip uh, we went to Manatee Springs State Park now that's here in Florida it's uh, in Crystal River it's uh, about two hours north of here where we live and we had our friend Melissa join us for this one yep. now, this was in February and it was still pretty cold we were uh, we were bundled up at Cedar Key because we did take a, a day trip and an evening trip over to Cedar Key while we were there Right, because we had told her so much about the cute little town mm -hmm. and and the good seafood there, and, and she had never had she had never had shrimp. That's true. That was her first time ever having fried shrimp or peel and eat shrimp of any kind. So right. I don't think she liked it too well. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and we did some kayaking in uh, the Manatee Springs while we were there. And don't let them kid you, gators can be in springs. They say that typically not because of the cooler water temperatures. But we saw one sunbathing on a log. Yeah, with like three turtles or four turtles next to it. Yep. So, gators can be in the springs. Yes, especially in the, in the winter. Our, our third trip was spring break in March, and this was back to Allie's hometown in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And while we were there, we ended up day tripping over to... Amaclola Falls. Yeah, I would never been there. I've been there one time with my mother. Yeah. And so I wanted to share with him the beauty of it. Yeah, <laughs> so we ended up doing the hike up the mountain um, to yeah, see the Yeah, but I didn't falls. get that before. Right. Because so you can drive up to the falls and you mm -hmm. can be right there at the top of the falls. But we we opted to hike and Nikki loved it and uh, it was quite the hike. And once you get to the very top and you look at, down at the falls, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. And we had a little issue with Nikki climbing these stairs coming down. She did not want to walk mm -hmm. on these metal grates of these stairs. So guess who got to carry her down? <laughs> After which we ended up taking your mom over to uh, Covington. Yep. And we had lunch there and did a little shopping. and. What do they say Covington is? It's the um, Hollywood of the Hollywood South. Hollywood of South. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty cool because in the in the sidewalk they have little plaque, uh, stars. little star, not stars, but uh, things saying what movies and actors were shot there. That's true. Mm -hmm. yep. After that, we ended up heading to uh, do some free camping in our first boondocking experience, right. which, uh, which we, is not too far from us. Yeah, it was at Hampton Track, and this was in Lakeland. Um, and this was our, like I said, this was our first attempt at boondocking. This would have been in uh, latter part of April. I think it was around Easter, as a matter of fact, when we were there. Mm -hmm. And this was right after my mom had passed away. And, uh, we inherited Muttley at that yeah. time. And so this was Muttley's first camping trip with us. And man, did he love it. He just... He absolutely, yep. absolutely loved it. And um, we actually loved the boondocking experience so much that uh, you'll see later in the video that uh, we ended up going several more times to different free camping spots here in Florida. Mm -hmm. And we've which, been to the same one too several times. So. Yeah, I'll leave some links up above to uh, some of these other videos uh, that explain how you get into these free camping spots. Yep. Next, we ended up doing some co-camping with friends of ours, Terry and Kathy. Who uh, we've camped with before? They got an RV and uh, Chaskawitza. Yeah, we were at Chaskawitza, which is about an hour north of here. They had uh, actually reserved this spot for some friends of theirs who couldn't make it, so we took it. And Muttley was happy. He was. Uh, this was actually Muttley's first time to get to go kayaking and, and swimming. And, swimming. Mm -hmm. and again, the little guy just absolutely ate it all up and loved it. It was. Uh, it was pretty fun to watch him experience and all these new things. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
But uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you've never been to Chasowitza, they have some really cool springs there too. And Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's great kayaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Nikki, it was really cute to see Nikki and Mutley together too. Um, oh yeah. On the front of the kayak, they really enjoyed it together. Yep, and my sister came up, and Nick, her boyfriend, That's came right. up for a little bit. Yeah, and had dinner one night. Yeah, and we played a little... Beer pong. Beer pong, we also played... Um, cornhole. Cornhole. Yep. Now, we're into June, if I remember correctly, and we went to Fort DeSoto. And school was out at that point. And yep. We ended up camping with Melissa again, and um, friends of ours were camping in a tent at right. Fort DeSoto, mm -hmm. and they wanted us to join, so we brought the RV, and they about died from the heat. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> and yeah. they, they basically said, no more no more summer camping in tents. Uh, right. And, uh, and Dave came up for the day, too. And yeah. We yeah. went. Our friend Dave, my drummer in the band. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we always love to go to the dog beach there. It's got such a friendly dog beach. And we always love going to the fort and seeing the uh, history of the fort. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many times I've been to Fort DeSoto, I'm going to go see the fort every time I go there. Our next one was some more free camping. Ashley Campground. Yep, this is the Ashley Campground, which we were at the Hampton Track the first time, which was on the east side of the Green Swamp, they call it. And the Ashley Track was on the west side of the Green Swamp. So it was a little closer. This is more over towards Dade City, and we absolutely really loved this campground. <clears throat> we had like our own little private spot in the back, and <clears throat> Pretty much could run our generator all night without anybody. We felt like it was just our home. Yeah, <laughs> like our big backyard. Yeah. And this is where Mutley got to do his first bicycle riding and a little bicycle oh trailer that goodness. we got. It was so cute seeing them so together. Every camping trip, it seemed like Mutley got to experience something, something new. new. Yeah. And everything he did, he... He just he, ate it up and he, loved it. Yep. He went at it full force. And uh, poor little guy, I just wish we'd had more time with him. But... Yeah. Uh, that's another video. If you can look back through our videos, if you haven't followed our channel, you'll see. Next, uh, we're into July, and we went to St. Augustine, which is our favorite place to, mm -hmm. one of our favorite places well, to go. Well, because we got engaged there. Right. And this time, we actually had Dave and Melissa both join us and, and mm -hmm. camp with us. Met my sister and her boyfriend over there. They were staying in a hotel over there, or a bed and breakfast. And... Uh, we just uh, we wanted to be able to show Dave. Um, Dave. Dave had never been there. Yeah, Melissa had been there as a child, but um, didn't really remember. Right. So mm -hmm. it was fun being able to share with them the town and the History. fort and yeah everything. Mm -hmm. So it was. Uh, they ended up having to leave the after one night. We stayed on and we got caught in a storm. Remember the storm oh, by, the, by the fort? That was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, we it were came out of nowhere. We were by the fort, and by the time we just got across the street to St. George Street, it the wind was, just picked up and just. Yeah, Ugh. it was picking up umbrellas and turning them over, and mm -hmm. poor, poor Mutley. I was like, he, she, Allie was going to run for cover and just leave the dogs <laughs> behind. I, I, I picked up Mutley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, next we are into Alafaya River. River. Oh, what a cool experience with the biking. Yeah, this, this, this uh, park has all kinds of bike trails, so if you're into mountain biking, this is the place in Florida to do it. Mm -hmm. There's another place we know of, but this is a really cool place, too, and they have... Uh, a lot of cool trails and, and things set up and Allie was scared that I was going to hurt myself on a couple of things. <laughs> well, <I was. laughs> She's like, uh, you know, you're not a spring chicken anymore, just be careful. And uh, yeah, it was all fun. And we also went to another town close by called... I um... can't remember the name of this town. I'll put it in the link. I'll put a subtitle of the town's name there, but it was cool. Seen some cool old artifacts and trains and, and tractors and stuff. Super hot here. We really got hot riding our bikes here. This is uh, oh, Florida yeah. in the summertime. And the next place was very cool. Yeah. Devil's Den. And we ended up taking some other friends of ours who had never been there. And, uh, Matt and Sarah. Yep. And we did the whole Devil's Den thing. And don't care how hot it is in Florida, that Devil's Den is cold. <laughs> And yeah, because it says, what, 72 year-round? Yeah, and that doesn't sound all that cold. But when you're in it? Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, you need a wetsuit to enjoy it. Really we, do. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do the wetsuit either time, and it was all we could do to stay in the water for very long. Yeah, your but, body just gets numb, and you yeah. just now, move on. Now, this is where we went and seen the, um, uh, a couple things. We saw the gardens here. Oh, yeah. Um, now, this guy had built this 
and I'll leave a link here too to this video you know, with more information. But he built all this out of an old stone quarry and uh, it's really cool. And then we did go to see McAnope. This is where we went and see McAnope. Okay, that's right. And that's where they shot Doc Hollywood, which was a uh, pretty, pretty good movie if you've never seen it with Michael J. Fox. And then we went to another free camping, mm -hmm. Sarah Nova Track. This was literally 15, Five. 15 minutes from our house. Yeah. Five. Yeah, this was this was close to our house, and this is where we had the first incident with Mutley, and uh -huh. and we uh, he had a seizure during the night, and we thought it was due to maybe some the overspray of the bug, bug spray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't. It turned out Poor it was thing, it was his heart. Yep. Yeah, he had a heart murmur that got worse, and I guess uh, the vet said it uh, some sort of heart related event that kind of looks like a seizure. So so that kind of put a whole damper on that little camping trip. Yeah. You know, for the most part, we still have, still made the most of it. Yeah. And 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 you know, the next day Mutley was fine, and he was doing all of his thing again, riding his bike and enjoying everything. Now we had a little bit of a dry spell where we we were so busy with work and everything that we uh, didn't get to do anything. I think it was in September. I think right. September we didn't go anywhere. Yeah. But, but in October, October. Mm -hmm, this was our anniversary trip to St. George Island. And oh boy, was it beautiful there. Yeah. This is up in the panhandle of the Florida. <laughs> the panhandle of the Florida. Panhandle of Florida. <laughs> right. This is in the panhandle of Florida. Mm -hmm. And we stayed at the Dr. Julian G. Bruce State Park. And wow, what a state park. Man, if you love beaches and you love white sand beaches, Play try to go. try to get a reservation there. We got lucky and got <clears throat> somebody canceled and we got in. And uh, we ended up going over to Apalachicola. Right, and had some uh, oysters yep. and oh yeah real cool town too with history I, a lot of shopping there too yeah and we love we love all the historical places and uh, that's something we're going to start doing more of too in the channel we're gonna as we travel we're gonna show more historical places if we can okay so our next trip was Thanksgiving and we went to Helen and Ella J yep and my <laughs> sister and her boyfriend Nick rented a cabin and they went a couple days ahead of us and we joined them uh, couple days later and we stayed at the Cherokee campground like we have in the past cool campground mm -hmm. and then uh, we had a rainy day so we day tripped over to, uh, to LJ yeah and LJ was beautiful I mean the, very the, dog friendly town yes it was <clears throat> and the leaves there oh my goodness so I guess they have an apple um, what's apple, that? apple festival apple festival in there. October yeah so we might try to do that this year yeah actually definitely but we did some cool hiking while we were there. Um, Tumbling Waters uh, hike here was really fun. And uh, we ended up hiking Yona Mountain. That was awesome. Yeah, that was quite a hike and it took quite a while. And then uh, after that, we went from Helen to South Carolina and Dreher Island State Park. Yep. Now this was for Thanksgiving. And that was near my brother's house. Yeah, and we celebrated Thanksgiving with your family. And again, Dreher Island, wow, the leaves. It was, it was like living in a Hallmark painting there. Yeah, and they just basically started turning there. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we were like, basically it was hard to keep your eyes on the road because you just wanted to look at all the fall colors and the leaves it was just like oh that's so great and it was interesting to find out that i have family ties there too oh that's right yeah mm -hmm. yeah so we'll put a link to that video too and you can check out and find out what her family ties are to uh lake murray and dreyer island in that that's area right. it's uh, pretty interesting yeah it definitely is yeah her brother turned us on to it and uh, we started researching it and it was like hmm that's uh Kind of a small world. Who would have thought, you know? That's right. Now for the big trip. Ooh. This is the big trip. This is a trip that we planned on taking last year and family circumstances prevented us from uh, really doing it. So we postponed it for a year. This was our big Grand Canyon trip. This is uh, mm -hmm. this was a, a cross country trip with an RV, towing an RV from Florida to Arizona in 15 days and back. And we had to because I'm a teacher. And so we only had two weeks off. He works so much in the summer, so this is really our only opportunity. time to do it. So our first leg of the trip, we went to, um, we stopped at the Cadillac Ranch and seen that. And then we stopped in Holbrook and spent two nights there checking out the Petrified Forest and Winslow, Arizona, 
which was really cool. Mm -hmm. That's, Especially being a really big Eagles fan. Yep. I really enjoyed it, and he is too. Yep. And the Petrified Forest was, it, it was above our expectations of what yeah, we thought it would be. a lot more than what I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be. day we arrived uh, at the Grand Canyon. What a snowy, snowy, beautiful white Christmas. Yeah. Now, when we got um, into this park at the Grand Canyon, the roads were, well, you can see they're icy and they're snowy and it was a little scary pulling a trailer. And we didn't really have any issues. Uh, Four-wheel drive truck, I think, helped out somewhat. And uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the first day we got there, we couldn't see anything. Uh, it was snowing yeah. and we walked up to the rim of the canyon right, and wow. we were like, wow, right. that's just nothing but white. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see anything. No. Nope. But luckily the next morning it was clear. We got out there, we seen it, and we finally got to see some elk, which we were happy to see. Yeah, happy we're to animal see. lovers, so we enjoyed seeing them. And yeah. And while it was snowy that one day, we ended up heading back to, uh, down the uh, the main road coming in there and checked out Bedrock City, which was neat. And the Flintstones. And then we made a three hour, three and a half hour drive to uh, Horseshoe Bend. When it's normally not even that long. No. But the roads were closed, 64 feet. The east rim east. was closed. Yeah, so we had to go all the way around. And, and then finally, the last trip, I mean the last leg of the, well this isn't the last leg of the trip, but this is the last leg in 2019. Right. We headed to Sedona. Sedona. And we stayed in... Ah, it's my shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we stayed in Cottonwood uh, at a uh, uh, state park there, the Dead Horse Ranch State, state park. park. And it was about a 20 minute drive into Sedona each day, and we went in there and we hiked. We hiked the Cathedral Trail. We hiked the Templeton Trail, we hiked uh, Devil's Bridge, and the Fay Canyon Trail uh, amongst just doing a lot of driving and sightseeing along with uh, checking out the town of Jerome which was, uh, you could see it on the hill from uh, our, our uh, campground. Mm -hmm. It was still a little bit of a drive but you could see it from there and wow, <laughs> Jerome. What a we, really neat, interesting town. Yeah, we really fell in love with Jerome. Uh, that's someplace I would love to go back and be able to spend more time and, mm -hmm. and, and do all the, the fun touristy things there, like the ghost tours that they have and, and everything. Right. So that wraps it up. Now, we actually did one more thing in on that trip, but that actually happens on New Year's, so we will have to s revisit that one next year, just like that's we did right. Savannah on yep. this one. So if uh, if you've been to any of these places, uh, you know, let, leave us a comment down below and let us know, and let us know what you thought of them. Maybe, maybe there's something we missed out um, on our trips that you would like to share with us that you've experienced. That's true. Or, or if you have suggestions for places that we could maybe uh, check out in uh, 2020. Oh, I almost said 2018. <laughs> I'm going backwards. We're going backwards. Woo. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you got something out of this video. Mm -hmm. And if you did, uh, we hope you will, if you're new, you'll hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So, so you'll you can be, follow us on our journey. Yeah, that way you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And uh, follow us on our journeys and our adventures. And we hope you all have a safe and happy 2020. All right. Bye. Bye.